I think there are three main reasons now why John Teeter's story has continued to have such a large following even for the last five years now. Um, the first one is that the post John left behind caused a great deal of controversy between the people who read him. Nobody can seem to agree on exactly what he was saying or trying to say. The second thing is that there's no definitive proof that he wasn't exactly what he said he was. Um, there's lots of things that could be checked out that people have tried to check out, but nothing has come forward to say that John was not a time traveler. And the third thing is, is that the people who are just now discovering the story are watching the things that he talk about unfold after they read it, and that, that's freaking a lot of people out. part when I got hired I didn't take much credence in what was happening I figured I'd get paid as I do for a lot of clients and then my son who's uh, 19 years old his name is Brandon is now a student at the University of Central Florida started going through the sites and so on and said dad you won't believe what's going on out there um, he's told me that people have investigated where I live where I work apparently people have taken pictures of the office I used to occupy which has kind of annoyed the people that I used to work with over there um, I had a call a few months ago from a guy at Hustler magazine who said, uh, would you like to be interviewed? And the first time around I hung up because I just thought it was a friend of mine playing a joke and it turned out to be somebody really at Hustler magazine that wanted to do um, an interview of me. And one of the proudest moments of my life will probably be that I'm now mentioned in Hustler April 2005 edition. And I'm also referred to as a pricey entertainment lawyer and it doesn't get any better than that. I estimate at least two, maybe three more years before the project is completed. Will it, um, will it end in divorce? Will it tear my family apart? I don't think so. My family's been very kind in indulging me in my, uh, my crazy obsession with building my time machine. Um, I, I think we're at a point now where my two daughters, who are seven and four, probably think that all dads are building a time machine. Some of the downside of this though has been that I have been, um, I've gotten lots of crank emails and phone calls. Um, the postings on the web have found where I live, who my family members are, not only my immediate family but in-laws and, and my family and so on. And so I do get a little concerned about whether or not there might be somebody that might come out and do something crazy. I get at least six or seven death threats a week. And they're all in huge capital letters. People that want to come to my house, beat me up, you know, find me, how dare I spread this. Oh yeah, we get about six or seven of those a week. If you can really bend time into a pretzel, it means you can meet your parents before you're born and perhaps kill them. Now, if you kill your parents before you're born, how can you be born to kill your parents before you're born? Or for that matter, let's say that you're a female who has a sex change operation and become a male. Then you go backwards in time and meet yourself as a female, and then you fall in love with yourself and have children. And these children become you. In that case, you have become your own mother, your own father, your own son, your own daughter, your own great-grandfather, your own great-granddaughter. You are a family tree unto yourself. In John's posts online,